Today, we're talking about what you need to know about creating an approved WhatsApp template. Firstly, navigate to the Create a Content section of the dashboard. And from here, select Create a New Message Project. Select the WhatsApp platform and then select WhatsApp Approved Template. Next, you need to choose the WhatsApp business accounts the template will be associated with. Only phone numbers linked to the WhatsApp business accounts you select will be eligible to use the template. So in this case, all of the numbers that are associated with MessageBird demos. Next, you need to select the most appropriate category for the type of template you are going to create. For promotional messaging, select marketing. And this could include things like product announcements and promotional offers. For transactional notifications, select utility. This could include account notifications and order updates. For sending OTP or two FA messages, select authentication. Setting the correct category is important because Meta will evaluate the category you've chosen alongside the type of content in the template to decide if this category is appropriate. The price to send the template is dependent on the category. So if you expect to be sending a utility template, but this is classified as marketing, you can pay a higher price than you expected. By default, if Meta recategorizes your template, it will be rejected. However, you can toggle on the allow category difference, which means a template could be approved, but it may end up in a different category if the content does not match the category that you've selected. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and create an authentication messaging template. Give the project the name and create project. Meta is particularly strict about the format for authentication templates. So we automatically limit your customization options to give you the best chance for the template to be approved. Under the authentication body, you can customize whether or not you want to add a security disclaimer or an expiration time. Under authentication action, you can set up configuration if you want to use one tap authentication, where you just need to add your Android app details. Once you're satisfied, click publish template. Because OTP templates follow a strict format, they'll quickly be approved by Meta. So as you can see, they're pending right now. If I just give this a refresh, you'll see that my template is now active. If I click View Latest Template and then go to the WhatsApp tab, you'll see that for the, why would I, the WhatsApp business account that I selected earlier, this is now showing as approved. Earlier, I created another template called Marketing Rejection. And you can see here that it's inactive, which means that it was pending approval and Meta have not approved us to be moved to the active state. Let's view the latest template to find out why. If I go to the WhatsApp tab, you can see a clear rejection reason. And it says your WhatsApp message template was rejected as the selected category does not match the content of your message. In this case, I selected the utility category. However, you can clearly see from the content that I've provided that this is a very marketing oriented template which is why Meta have rejected this. Thank you very much for watching.